What is going on YouTube? Pokepaths here. After what seems like a literal eternity. <laughs> I haven't posted in a long time. There just hasn't been a lot of stock as per usual. But I feel like things are calming down now. Um, and so I'll try to post semi-regularly. Obviously, I mean, Pokemon cards are pretty expensive and I don't make a lot of money. <laughs> Especially not from YouTube, I don't make any money from it. So this is just a hobby that I like to do, just open up cards. And I like to post about them. But I managed to get this at MSRP from GameStop uh, the day before Black Friday. Somehow, by some miracle. Or maybe not. Maybe they're coming in stock now. But they were in stock. And I am just very excited to open this. This is the first Celebrations thing I have ever opened, period. Um... And, yeah, I'm just like, I don't know, I'm super excited. There isn't a ton of stuff in Celebrations that I'm just like, wow, this would be amazing to get. But, I mean, it's just fun. It's nostalgic. I'm a little sad that they don't have a ton of stuff from, like, the e-reader era, which I know wasn't a super popular era anyways. <laughs> but that was the, um... Like, that was the sets, well, those are the sets that I grew up with. Yeah, and this is the little player's guide. I don't think it's that long, because there aren't that many cards in the set. Yeah, there are, like, hardly any. And there you go. Um, cards that I would like to get. This shiny Mew, obviously. Obviously, any of these three. I'd love to also get the Dark Gyarados or the Rocket Zapdos. I know they aren't the most expensive cards, but I still think they're cool. The Umbreon Star <laughs> actually had this original card, so I think that would be cool to have. The Shining Magikarp. <laughs> as much as I'd love to get that, no thank you. <laughs> Not that Tapu Lele is bad, just that I'm pretty sure I actually have that card. And so, yeah. But without further ado, let's just open this up and uh, take a look at what's inside. We've got the little booklet that teaches you how to play. Let's see what else we've got. We've got your little poison and burn counters, or coins rather. Got some pretty cool dice. Seem a little basic, but still cool. Anything else in the middle? Nope. Right, take this off. You've got a fat stack of energies, the best part of any ETB. You've got all the packs falling over back there. Very cool. Jeez. There we go. I'll just grab all of these out. You've got the code card, which I'll actually probably be using that, unfortunately. And you've got the sleeves, which I I don't know why they decided to go to like a matte finish as opposed to that glossy finish that they used to have. Actually, give me a sec so I can pull this out. They're still sealed from back when I opened this a while ago. But like, you can't really tell, you can kind of tell. If you see like this is a lot more reflective. Well, let me just, I guess not. But this is a gloss finish and this is a matte finish and these just scratch up more easily they also feel cheaper and i'm just really sad especially because this is a 25th anniversary celebration thing and they still went with the cheapo sleeves i wish that they just bring them back okay forgot to grab this but we also have this promo which is so cool. And I know it's not that expensive anymore, but I still just absolutely love it. Shiny Greninja is one of the most beautiful shinies there is. Super duper cool. Nothing else in the box. It also came with these dividers, which one side are white, the other side they're black. Um, I'd love to open it, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm just going to keep it in that. I'll just throw it in here for now. Uh, as for packs, 
it comes with. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten celebrations packs. And it comes with two Darkness Ablaze, one Chilling Rain, one Battle Styles, and one Vivid Voltage. So I have actually opened up all of these. I think let's see, five packs here and then ten packs here. I'll do two Celebrations packs and then a normal pack. Uh, so I think I'm gonna... Oh, I wonder where my sleeves are. I mean... I will just use these sleeves because I don't think they're gonna be... So let's go ahead and open up two celebrations packs and then we'll probably do a darkness of lays. So and I'll be giving away the code card for the code cards for these. Um, these packs, because I'm not too bothered by not having any celebrations packs in TCGO. Okay. Oh yeah. So there's the code card. There you go. And then I believe it's just one to the front. Yeah, there we go. So we are starting off with a Lunala, Xerneas, Cosmog, and whoo, a Mega Rayquaza EX from the Classic Collection. That is sweet. Pretty sure I also had this card. I remember. I collected around this time, and this was a very cool card that I had. I remember pulling it, and I was like, wow, that's cool. Not understanding how good it was in competitive. <laughs> On to the next pack. Jeez. Oh, there we go. Okay. There is the code card for you guys. One to the front. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, probably change that. But Surfing Pikachu V. <laughs> Cosmo MV. Or Cosmo MV, my gosh, just Cosmo M. Cosmog. And a Garchomp C level X. Wow. Two classics already. That is crazy also sleeve up that uh, Surfing Pikachu V. Give me one sec. Man, sorry, these sleeves are really hard to open. All right, and now let's do a Darkness of Blaze. Just a regular pack. The one I actually know the card trick for, so that'll be nice too. All right. There is the code card. We'll do one, two, three, four to the front. Sorry, starting off with a fighting energy. Going on to Billowing Smoke, Turbo Patch, Vibrava, Wishy Washy, Kufant, Sinistee, Phoebus, Simeon, Reverses of Lunatone, and the rare is a, a Rhyperior V. Let's go. So far, some great pulls from this ETB. My goodness. All right. Now moving on to two more celebrations. Or maybe, I'm gonna switch it up actually. We're gonna do another Darkness of Blaze so that way we can end on two celebrations as opposed to ending on a chilling rain. So there we go, another Darkness of Blaze. This pack was really easy to open, my goodness. Okay, there is the code for you guys. We are going, sorry, let me just adjust some stuff over here really quick. Sorry about that. One, two, three, four to the front. Starting off with, um, sorry, there we go. An electric energy, soul rock, Steeny, Old PC, Meltan, Moraney, Purloin, Starly, Aeron, 
Reverse is a purloin again, and the rare is a Wigglytuff. All right. Now, back to the Celebrations packs. Something I was really scared of when I bought this actually was if this was resealed, because I was like, this is MSRP, and they like somebody opened it and then resealed everything and returned it. That would be awful. Whew, but it doesn't look like it is, so that is very exciting. And there is the code for you guys. We'll do something like that. There we go. So starting off with Lugia. Cosmoworm. Yo, Surfing Pikachu VMAX. Okay. And the rare is... Oh, sorry, rare. Oh my gosh, they're all rare. But it's a ho -Oh. All right, I'm happy I got Lugia and ho -Oh. Lugia and ho -Oh are some of my favorite Pokemon. Period. And so it is super cool to see them and they have such beautiful artwork as well all right another celebrations oh boy oh man i absolutely destroyed this pack i am so sorry okay there is the code card for you guys. Let me just go one like that. So we have a Groudon, Reshiram, Solgaleo, and a Zekrom. All right. Now we'll move on to a Battle Styles pack, which I think would be super duper awesome if I could get an alt art from any of these because those alt arts are some of the prettiest cards I've ever seen. I uh, unfortunately didn't record this but I was at a tournament and they did like a pre-release for Fusion Strike and I managed to pull a Celebi alt art, the Celebi V alt art which was super duper cool and it is one of the prettiest cards I've ever seen. There is the code card for you guys. Or to the front, starting off with a Fire Energy, Golbat, Bruno, Carcoal, Bronzor, Murkrow, Horsey, Cherubi, Electabuzz, Reverses a Mianfu, and the rare is a, a Hollow Houndoom. That is pretty cool. All right. Yeah, moving on. We now have two more celebrations. All right. There is the code card for you guys. A little one to the... F just like that. Starting off with a Cosmog. A Yveltal. Hey, a Zamazenta V. Uh oh. And the rare is a Palkia. Man, the Celebrations pack are, packs are just super quick. It's like you open them and you're done instantly. So let me just sleeve up that Zamazenta V. There we go. Sorry, one, two, three, four. Five. So one more celebrations pack. Oh my gosh. Alright. Okay. There's that code for you guys. One to the front. Starting off with a Kyogre. Xerneas. Hey, it's a classic full art Pikachu. Very cool. And a Cleffa. That is cute. That's really cute. Nice, cool little one from the classic collection. We also sleeve up this classic fossil Chunky Chew. Now we'll move on to 
vivid voltage. I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure I did that out of order. I think vivid voltage actually came out before battle styles. But anyways, it doesn't really matter. There's that code card for you guys. Four to the front. We are starting off with Fighting Energy, Giraffe Rig, Bay, Exadrill, Joltik, Mudbray, Picky Peck, C Dot, Sandile, Reverse is a Galarian Meowth, and the rare is Vaporeon. Alrighty. Moving on to two more celebrations packs now. And these packs are just, they'll be the death of me to open. Goodness gracious. All right, there we go. There's that code card for you guys. One to the front. And we'll start off with a Yveltal, Lugia, Lunala, oh, beautiful, and the Venusaur. That makes me so happy. Oh, man. I was hoping to at least pull something from the classic collection that was from base set, and this is very cool. Unfortunate that Venusaur is least liked of the trio because I definitely think he is super duper cool and I honestly think he's my favorite out of all of them so this makes me super duper happy all right One more celebrations and we'll move on to that chilling rain which I have not opened a lot of chilling rain I've actually only opened three chilling rain packs I bought three singles and I, mean, I don't want to spoil it too much because I recorded it, but it wasn't the greatest. There are the sum of the best that code card. Up to the front. Move on to Palkia. Dialga. A. Mew. A. And Cosmon. Alright, that was cool. Two new cards. That's always super duper fun. Moving on to the Chilling Rain. Hopefully we get something in here, because I think I got one hollow from it, which, I mean, it's one in three odds that you get a hollow, and I bought three packs back to back, so it was at odds. I would love to get something cool, like a V at least. That would be super duper awesome. There is that code card for you guys. Starting off with Metal Energy, Whirlipede, Sabled, Laron, Cast Form, Quillfish, Ralts, Heracross, Cast Form, Sunny Form, Path to the Peak Stadium, and the rare is a Scolipede. Definitely have to do a Chilling Rain uh, ETB at some point, because I think that would be fun to open. But I would rather do, because I haven't opened any Evolving Skies packs, period. So I'd rather do that first, because I think that would be a ton of fun, because I think Evolving Skies is just a super cool set. It's here, oh, sorry. Here is that code card for you guys. There's definitely a V in here. <laughs> so we got, oh, geez, that's sad. We have a Kyogre. A Reshiram, a Flying Pikachu V, and the rare. Hey! Blank's Pikachu! The card that was banned because nobody wanted to check if it was their actually their birthday. That is super duper cool and such a fun card. Oh man. Also sleeve up this Flying Pikachu. Alright. On to the last pack. Maybe we'll get some last pack magic. So I cleaned up the background. I remember, I, I don't know, if people remember, there used to be just a bunch of ETBs progressively as I got more, but 
just got kind of annoying having all that on my desk. So I uh, cleaned it up and hopefully that chimchar from pre-ordering Brilliant Diamond, I got both, but I could only pre-order one from the Pokemon Center. So I got Brilliant Diamond. And then those two Charizard figures is enough to still be, oh my goodness, so sorry. Full background. Just gonna have to do this, I guess. Oh goodness gracious. All right, give me one second. There we go. Okay, I just sniffed the top. I have enough packs. All right, there is that code card for you guys. One to the front. And we are starting off with a Cosmoem, Lugia. Yo, -ho, a full art professor's research. Very cool. And a ho -ho. All right, but this is pretty cool. I'm happy about this. That is a very viable card in competitive. And I believe that's it. So let me just round up all the pulls really quick. All the interesting pulls. Obviously some of the hollows from this won't be as interesting. And, and I'm sure you guys have probably seen a lot of these cards already. Sorry, this is taking so long. I'm just having to dig through a whole bunch of stuff. All right, let me grab that one right here. Here, obviously, there's this guy, that Greninja star that you get no matter what, which is just super duper cool. One of the cooler cards that you get from this, and I think this alone, well. To some people, this alone might make the box worth it. Obviously, it's not worth $50, but as a collector, this is definitely something that I absolutely love. And Shiny Greninja is one of the most beautiful shinies there is in the game. But we also pulled that Rhyperior V. We got that Garchomp C level X. Got that Mega Rayquaza EX. Got that Surfing Pikachu V. And the Surfing Pikachu V Max to go along with it. We got the Zamazenta V. We got the Chunky Chu uh, from Fossil, the full art version. We got Cleffa. Then we got Venusaur. We got Blank's Pikachu, pretty cool card. We got the Flying Pikachu V. And we got Professor's Research. So overall, a super fun box to open up. I absolutely loved it, definitely worth it. This is just a super cool thing um, to open up and just to celebrate 25 years of Pokemon. And if you're a collector, obviously, this is just gonna be a super duper fun thing for you to do. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't as well. And yeah, thanks, peace.